Welcome to my French road trip of 2023, where I'm taking you to some of the best parts along the Atlantic and west coast of France. So far, I've taken you to the Dune de Pilat, the vibrant city of Bordeaux, and the most beautiful French village. In this episode, I'm going to take you to what I think are some of the west coast hidden gem. Well, from first impressions, Ryan's nice. So it is. A bit like a holiday, more like a holiday resort than anywhere we've been yet. And from the campsite, it took us what, 10 minutes? Bye yeah, bike. 10 minutes yeah, 10 minutes, there's John. And it's only 25 degrees heat, which is just what you want. A fat bird on a bike in that heat. <sighs> Might be beer o'clock soon. And they've got those fishing huts over there in the distance, like they had at um, Talmont. So I wonder if this is an area for fishing. Oh, yeah. It's a real mix though, isn't it? Of like new and old. So ignore that. This isn't Ruan. Uh, <laughs> this is Pon Pontiac. Pontiac. Ruan's just a little bit further up that hill there. Just wipe. Wipe the sweat off my tash a bit further round and we've made it. Uh, I don't know if you can just see there, the ferry part, that's where uh, you get the ferry and there's a couple of motorhomes just queuing up. That's where you get the ferry over towards the peninsula um, where Sulak Smear is. We had that on our list to go and visit, but it was going to be a three hour drive there and back from Bordeaux. And we just knew that that was all that was up there, so we didn't bother. Yeah, I think it goes much further round though, because can you see in that bay behind it, all the uh, water skis, jet skis. So I think we go further round. I think that coast round there, yeah. behind, the, behind the big wheel, yeah. is St George. Oh, okay. Right, we'll have a look on the map. Yeah. There's definitely some party going on somewhere, we can hear it the crowds cheering so we found out what the cheering was there's a volleyball tournament going on down there lots of cheering going on they've actually got a stadium where the flags are that's like a pop-up stadium so we're just gonna head into Royan and have a look around now it's a perfect day And in true YouTube style, uh, I forgot to take a, a before of the ice cream. It was nice though. So Royan, if you like your Spanish resorts and you like the kind of bars, ice creams, what I would call tat shops, uh, boat rides, then Royan definitely makes you feel like you're on holiday. Yeah. That and the uh, mascots. Mascots. Three euro fifty donuts the size of your head. <laughs> <laughs> so time to bite back and probably pop to the beach for an hour. So if like us you've brought your bikes with you, I would definitely recommend biking the coastal path um, from wherever you're staying around Royan uh, because you really do get to see some of these wonderful holiday homes along the front. Um, very, very French. We've come for a little walk out the bottom of the gate of the campsite and there is a few different restaurants. Um, some, I think they're, some, they're closed uh, because it's still not the pastor's main season. Um, but we're just gonna go and have a drink at one of these bars, but that looks nice, doesn't it?
Salut. Sante. 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 Salut. Salute. Sante. Sante. Cheers. That's just the fab little restaurant we've had dinner at and drinks. And this is the bay that we are thoroughly enjoying and considering rerouting our entire holiday for. Good morning from San Palais sur Mer. Um, this is the campsite we're on. Morning, John. Morning. Going for breakfast. Uh, there's a lot of statics, but there's also loads of motown pictures and it's an axe Um So, as I was saying, it is an axe site at 19 euros per night. Um, it doesn't have a pool, does this one, but it is direct access to the beach, which is literally about three minutes away and the videos that we did last night. Um, I had a great night last night. That was... Uh, that was a really good meal as well. <coughs> it was tasty. So pizza, Caesar salad, and mm -hmm. some feet. So now we're heading into town to go and find some breakfast. These are the gates for the campsite that we've just come out of. There you go, Le Demain de Bernezac. And it's open from March to October. Across the road, and there's the beach. From the beach, up that road towards Royam, six kilometre bike ride, which yesterday you will have seen was very warm. We're right next to a town called Vaux-sur-Mer, where there's a really good market, but not on a Monday, and today's Monday. And we're gonna head this way to Saint Palais. And I've just realized, I've been telling everybody that we had a meal last night at La Rassoir, and actually it was La Nozaine. But definitely recommend that. Had a proper Ibiza feel about it, didn't it? Some people move to Benidorm for some winter sun. I think I'm gonna move here. One of the other things about France is they've got they've got an obsession with roast chicken. Everywhere we've been, there's been roast chicken shops. I mean, I don't know what that's all about. That epic moment when you've walked 20 minutes to come to the bakery, not just any bakery, the artisan boulanger. And it's closed on a Monday. Time to find somewhere for brekkie before the hanger kicks in. Don't worry, John saved the day. He's found a good plate. He's found some croissants. The hanger will be delayed. I didn't record myself eating a croissant. You'd judge me. But this is a nice walk back. Oh, Shea Bob. We bumped into a couple last night who recommended the restaurant Shea Bob. But apparently you've got to uh, book well in advance because it's very popular. And I can see why with a view like that. Does look nice actually.
beautiful as this area is. Le Chien sur la plage. From the 1st of April to the 30th of September.